you, Steve. It's a force. That's my official thanks for talking That's your back broadcast over. voice. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, this, is, this is a lesson for you because you know how annoying I am whenever I do something different with my life on the show. I'm like, everybody revolve yeah, around me. That's right. Everybody <laughs> must join in. So I need some help with this paleo diet, which so far has been really great. But it's kind of hard to find recipes that are different yes. and taste good because it's no dairy and, and right. things like that. The, the thing that I found interesting about this diet that you're on now uh -huh. is the fact that uh, when you do a little research on it, it's kind of what, uh, what uh, humans were prior to revolutionizing yeah. the world. And right. so, like, it was the gatherers of nuts and berries and, mm -hmm. and meat. So it's very protein heavy. Yeah. But one of the things that I noticed, too, was that it, it falls into a category that I'm challenged with almost daily by my customers, which is uh, to be able to do uh, uh, gluten or uh, Gluten-free. Gluten-free, gluten -free, thank yeah. you. I say glutose. Gluten-free, and this, two of the items we're using today are, and one of them is coconut oil, mm -hmm. which are cooking our, our patties in, and then one of them is coconut flour, okay. which is made from the, the uh, meat of the coconut after the milk is extracted. Uh -huh. And this oil comes from the kernel, not your dad, but the kernel <laughs> inside, <laughs> inside the pineapple that they extracted from. So it's kind of interesting, and what we've done today is we've taken some salmon, just a regular salmon, a filet of salmon, mm -hmm. and rather than doing this, is kind of funny, these are salmon cakes, not salmon patties. Okay. Your mother made salmon patties, I'm sure, as did mine. Loved them. Out of a can. I did too. They were mm -hmm. great. But this is a salmon cake, real similar to a crab cake. Okay. Oh, okay. But the key to this is that we use this flour, uh -huh. okay, and this flour absorbs a lot of water or any liquid. So this is not a one-to-one -one ratio like you normally would with flour. You've got to use just a little bit of this goes a long way. Oh, so what okay. we've done is we've taken some of this flour. This actually does have an egg in it. So that is one thing that's a little bit okay. different. But you need that for a binder. Yeah. Okay? So and you can eat eggs. Actually, okay. Absolutely. So you got eggs. you got the salmon. And all I did with the salmon flake was just basically cut it up because you want it kind of chunky like a crab cake would be. Right. So yeah. just cut it into chunks. And then you mix it all together with the uh, jalapeno pepper in there for a little bit of heat, mm -hmm. salt, and, a little bit of kosher salt and pepper. And then you just make them into these cakes. And basically, we're frying them in the um, in the oil, in the in the coconut oil. And so you can see, if I can get one up out of here, you can see they they, they stay very chunky. Yeah, and, and they all pretty. Yeah, That's they a also color. have a uh, they also have a real nice flavor to them because this is this is my theory on this uh -huh. because you're getting full chunks of the salmon rather than like you would with a patty that's all ground up and that kind of thing. One of the things, too, about this oil, this oil, you want to cook it about a medium-high speed, you don't, or a heat speed. You don't want to cook it real uh, high because the oil will burn. Okay. So, so, so there's a lot of little things going on here that are kind of the science of cooking. Yeah. But one of the things I like about this is you can make something like this. We're going to put a little mango, fresh mango salsa to go over the top of it. Oh, yeah. But you eliminate a lot of the things that, you know, folks don't want to eat. Right. That are, you know, that kind of like on your diet thing here, where it's real heavy on protein, real heavy on natural things, a lot of natural stuff in here, and not a lot of stuff that you're adding to it. And I found it very interesting when I was kind of reading up on this, that it makes perfect sense, actually, this diet does. Uh -huh. Because, you know, man, in the beginning, that's what they did, was they went out and they killed, killed an animal, and they drug it back and gathered berries, gathered fruit, that sort of thing. So it kind of makes sense that we've put the starches, the potatoes, all these things into our, our diet, uh, pastas. You know, mm -hmm. and, and I miss, I do miss dairy. I think yeah, the dairy part is kind of I think that's probably, I couldn't do that because I eat a lot of cereal. So and the red uh, wine parts hard yeah. and hard, too. I guess too. you drink soy milk. I don't know. No, I, I like regular milk. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But for mom at home, would you, would you say buying the products to make this, mm -hmm. price difference, was it a whole lot more expensive? It's a little bit, but I think the other thing is, I think it yields more. I think okay. you get more out of it. Like this coconut oil, this would last you a long time. And I think, yeah. I, I really like the coconut oil idea sure. as a... Uh, alternative to regular oils because mm -hmm. again I think it's a little bit healthier for you mm -hmm. so and you don't use near as much the flour you know again and the funny thing is uh, your market streets have these I was really surprised I did a little research on this even Walmart like carried the coconut yeah. oil so I it's mean it's really are, easy to it find it is these it is and it's I think I, the other thing is this is so, this dish here you can make up in advance because I did the patties last night have them patted out come home and cook them throw the salsa on them we're gonna do this little green beans and see what we come up with but I was really impressed with some of these items because I think it's a uh, it's an alternative a lot of people don't know about. And like I say, the gluten-free thing is something I hear every day from my clients. Yeah. We need gluten-free and you need so. All right. Well, we'll make a, a salsa whenever we come back. Absolutely. But thank you so much. You bet. Cigarette.
you, thank you. I really am going to make this for dinner tonight because I've got a lot of salmon in my fridge and I have no idea what to do with it. We made a really quick, easy paleo salmon patty. <laughs> I'm really going to make this like I really the other time. She and as far <laughs> as the clock being turned back, all God's people said, hey, Ben, exactly. hey, Ben. Okay, exactly. we're going to make a salsa here really quick to put on this. And we did a little, hey, one thing I want to mention was get yourself some of this coconut oil mm -hmm. and like saute some of your vegetables in it because it's not a huge coconut flavor, but there's a hint of coconut, so it's kind of fun. Okay. okay? So anyway, nice. okay, we're going to make a little salsa. I got a fresh mango here, okay. and we're going to add to that a little bit of red onion, about a, a half of a red onion. And then you want to put about four tablespoons of cilantro in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now one thing you're going to notice about this, and Meredith was talking about this before we came on, um, you don't see a hot element in this salsa. The reason for that is because we've already put the hot element into the uh, uh, salmon cakes. Right. And uh, yes, folks, I was trying not to say salmon patties. Anyways, we'll put a little salt and pepper on there. And we're just going to hit it with just a just a dab of olive oil, not much. Mm -hmm. And uh, just kind of give it a little bit of liquidation. Okay. Liquidation. So anyways, we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to put this over the top of the uh, of the salmon cakes. Now, one thing I want you to really think about, folks, is this is a good dish. Like uh, Meredith said, you can put this together pretty quick. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Don't be afraid to serve it at an upscale dinner. But also, it's really simple for you to do at night, you know, when you come home. Yeah. Your, uh, your kid, I, I really, I honestly believe this. This is, I think, a way, now, Anthony and I grew up in the old days when you had salmon patties out of the mm -hmm. can, which were really good. My mom was killer with salmon yeah. patties. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of times kids, they don't, you know, salmon patty, canned tuna, stuff like that, they just don't get into. This is a good way because you get those big chunks of salmon in there. Yeah. I think uh, uh, one thing I'm really happy about with this is that, I'm gonna hurt myself. Is that? Uh, See, look how pretty they yeah, came out. Yeah, they come You know, a lot of that's got the oil on it. A lot of it's because of the coconut oil. Yeah. But they cook real nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful. That's a nice cake. Yes, it is a nice, <laughs> nice little, <laughs> that nice is. little <laughs> cake there. But I'll tell you something that I really that just makes that's me so that's happy that's about this dish mm -hmm. is I'm a big advocate for fish. I love fish. I don't think people eat enough fish, mm -hmm. and I yeah. think the reason they don't. I know the reason they don't. Well, it's hard um, to make. I get scared of it. People are afraid of fish. Yeah. And the reason they're afraid of it, ninety-five percent of the time. Yes, 95% of the time, and I, I've said this over and over again on this show and every customer I ever see, people who don't like fish have either had fish that was handled poorly uh -huh. or prepared wrong. Okay. Because nine times out of ten, if fish is done right, I did an event in Thursday in Andrews, uh, Andrews Country Club in Andrews, Texas. People ate the fish. It was seafood extravaganza, and I had so many people tell me it doesn't even taste, taste like fish. And that's kind of what you're after. Yeah. Because nine times out of ten, people that don't like fish, they get that fishy flavor. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's been in the refrigerator too long, its own juices, whatever the case may be. So there's a lot of things that happen that, um, that make that, you know, make people not like fish. And like I said, I'm a big advocate for, fi for fish. I think that uh, more people should try fish, and I think this is a great way for people to try fish. Yeah. Because I think you're getting a real... Uh, Kind of a fresh fish flavor. So go Say grab that some fast. coconut oil. Yes. So it was coconut kind of, oil. Just to recap, it was salmon patties, kind of, or salmon fillets, salmon kind of chopped up, chunked them up, put a little, egg. yeah, you had egg, a little bit of the coconut flour, okay. and a jalapeno, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt and pepper, kosher salt and pepper. Okay, you just patty them out, fry them up a little bit of the uh, coconut oil uh -huh. that came from the kernel, not your dad from the kernel, the coconut. <laughs> right. we, we'll just keep going back to that. I thing. know. And then uh, the coconut flour. I I encourage everyone. Also high fiber. Coconut uh, flour is very high fiber. But um, I encourage everybody to try it because I, I myself had never used it. Yeah. And when you kind of talked about doing this, I thought, you know, I, I should look into this. Very impressed with the coconut flour. Very impressed. I think there's a lot of things you can do with it that people are not doing. And now, he said so. it's a little bit more expensive, but you Yields can more. use yeah. less of it. Yeah. And it goes It'll take a long way. time to go through this. Yeah, long yeah. time to go through that. And it'll take a long time to go through the flour as well because it's not like your traditional flour. Mm -hmm. You use a lot less of that because it yeah. absorbs so much of the, uh, of the liquid. So, I, you know, like I said, they came, they came out really nice. I, yeah, I love the color gorgeous. of them. Um, it's something you should try. I think it's something that, uh, you know, on, on Good Life, Good Food, we try to do things that are happy and fun with people. Uh -huh. But I think also it's kind of become a learning experience for a lot of things that you can try that maybe folks at home are, are afraid to try. And uh, I, I really appreciate you. Last week she told me, she said, hey, try this and see what we can come up with. So, you know, it's kind of expanding our horizons to look at different products. I think that's one of the big things on a day-to-day -day basis that people don't do enough of. Because how many times do you come home from uh, work and say, what's for supper? Yeah. And we don't have an answer. So Tuna packet. Have yeah. a nice yeah. day. I don't know about What do you want? Not, anything. Not, never tuna packet at my house. How about that one? What do you want? Anything. Well, I yeah. can't cook anything. The only anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. But thank you so you much. You bet. We'll see you next sure week. I do appreciate it. Have a happy Halloween. I'll we'll do right so. <laughs> you know what I'm going to...